So guys, here we are at uh, Oban Ferry Port now, waiting for the, uh, the boat over to Mull. Um, it's been 665 miles from Cornwall, um, and it's taken me over two days with a stop up overnight on the way up. Uh, weather's lush. Last year, it was pretty honking. This year, the weather's lovely. So, um, and it's been amazing on Mull for the last few weeks, but I think this week's gonna be a bit up and down, a bit wet, with sunny spells, with a bit of wind. So we just gotta go with it. Um, can't wait to get there though. Obviously this time out the roof tent, all the gear on board, good to go, travel round and uh, see how we get on. But targeting otters, hopefully this time, um, wasn't successful last time, saw um, an ass end shot. So this time I'm gonna plug away with otters and if I do pretty well with those, then I'm gonna crack on and then um, find the uh, harrier and owls and eagles and things. So um, yeah, really excited. Knackered, but excited. I'm um, going to get there, get set up, a bit of wild camping on the lock side. So, um, yeah, can't wait to get there, get all my kit out, and uh, crack a nice cold beer. But uh, exciting times, guys. Should be a great week, all being well. I'm looking forward to uh, taking you along with me. So guys, welcome to day one on Mull of seven. Um, got here last night about half six, seven in the evening and um, set up camp at uh, Loch Bewey. And uh, beautiful evening, amazing. Um, lots of midges around, but my Christ, did the weather change. Um, woken up early hours, I think it's about half one, with like a, a 40 gusting easterly right in the side of the roof tent. Um, so I had to close it down a little bit, was flapping around like a good and really noisy. Had to stick my uh, a and headset on, my noise reduction headset, so I couldn't hear it, so I'd get some sleep. So I only achieved about four hours. Absolutely hideous it was, peeing down with rain, uh, and sort of this morning's not much better, really. It's forecast pretty much heavy rain most of uh, the morning and into the afternoon till about three, four o'clock. So I'm on um, Loch Nakeel at the moment, I've come down here to have a look because it's a bit more sheltered away from that easterly wind. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, I've just got to make the most of it. Just have breakfast. Going to set up a Tragopan V6 in a minute just along the shoreline and hopefully see if we can pick up uh, an otter or two coming through. I'm just going to sit it out, hope for the best, really. There's not much I can do today. Kind of like a bit of a recce work along the shoreline. But um, I have driven quite a way around the island checking a few other spots out. Um, I was going to try a place called Crogan, which is a really good hot spot for otters, but um, it's really windy down there. It's coming right through. Um, not comfortable at all. So I'm thinking possibly, you know, just sit it out here. It's a really good place. There's some rocks over here where the um, seagulls hang out. Probably won't be able to see very well. As you can see at the minute, it's pretty hideous out there. And there's a load of rocks. Just kind of like over there and uh, the old white-tailed seagull um, sort of perches on there so uh, I have seen it on there before and um, seals and stuff like that so you know it's it's one of those days it's a bit of a washout really but I've got to get amongst it there's no point in sitting in here moping about it it's not the uh, rain's not gonna bother the uh, the otters anyway and um, hopefully later on in the week when the weather's a bit finer and I've got um, hopefully some otter footage and some videos and some good stills that I can concentrate on the harriers and uh, the owls all being well um, as that weather hopefully gets a little better. But uh, yeah, get amongst it, get out there and um, yeah, see what happens. So guys, I've uh, set up on the shores of uh, Loch Nakeel and um, yeah, as you can probably tell, it's raining again and pretty hard. Um, it's supposed to have eased off for an hour, but it hasn't. But uh, I'm just literally parked myself in the Tragopan V6, got the R3 and the 500 on, and just literally waiting for the tide to drop. See uh, otters like feeding amongst the kelp, and as the tide recedes as well, they like to feed in amongst the weeds. So I'm hoping 
I might get something along this stretch. Who knows? Uh, I've got a road to my left, so uh, every man and his dog has spotted the hide. They're slowing down, thinking I'm filming something when I'm not. Um, if anything does turn up, they like to stop and probably flush it off. So um, yeah, it is what it is. Just gonna crack on and hope for the best. I've got a few divers out there at the moment, a few black guillemots and um, a few uh, a few cormorants as well out there at the minute. So, you know, a bit too far off for any pictures, but I'm just gonna get in here, you know, and just, just hammer it for three, four, five, six hours. I can see the landy from here. That's where I'm gonna set up camp tonight. And I think we're gonna have some nice weather tonight. So uh, all being well, um, that'll be a, a bit of a refreshing change because it's been constantly raining all day today. But anyway, get back to it. Hopefully go quiet and something will turn up. Very common here. Oh no. It's making its way towards me now, which is lovely. So guys, I chose this location here. Um, the wind is coming kind of east, northeast at the minute and um, you know, it's, I've got a mountain behind me and it's just coming over the top, this occasional gust. But in front of me here, the water's quite flat and calm, it's quite sheltered, and yet you go, I don't know, 100 metres out and it's choppy as hell. So I'm hoping the bird species and maybe the otter will just cruise along the coast where it's a little bit more sheltered and feed up. Um, obviously, they're fairly hardy, so they don't really mind taking in a battering, but kind of thinking nice and flat lots of weed around you know I think it's gonna be a really good spot for them but I said that last time I spent two days on them and saw nothing but you know, there are other species around as well um, and then if you've actually if you watched my mull trip last year you can watch the videos above there um, with the button at the top, um, just of what I got up to last time. Uh, I'm hoping this time to to do even better than I did last year. But it all depends on the weather and the birds and the uh, and the mammals, really. Although today's not ideal conditions. Um, You've always got to give it a go, you know, I mean, rain, mist, fog, all creates a unique picture, atmospheric picture. You know, think about it, I'm quite, quite a low aspect here to the water, so any bird species, any otters coming in, raindrops, slow the shut speed down a little bit, you know, create quite a, a moody shot. So, you know, and then sometimes when it's, you know, bright sunshine, contrasting light, very high, bright, washes a lot of the detail out. Um, so in things, situations like this, you know, you just never know what's going to turn up and what you can do with the image. Just think about it, play around with the image, um, use the rule of thirds, um, just think about the composition, think about backdrops, foreground, um, you know, loads of things. Using the light, there's tons of stuff that go through your head at the time, picking out a nice um, part of the image that you want to bring in, you know, not always bang centre of the image. Um, I and mean, you can crop it and offset it if you want to in post-processing, but it's good to think about that when you're actually taking your image. But just something to think about when you're um, sat in a hide for hours on end, getting dripped on and um, hammering rain and a bit of wind. Um, yeah, but just something to, be, to bear in mind really, and just to think about when you're creating um, different sort of viewpoints to your, uh, to your images. Oh, it's hideous out there now. I mean, 
Oh, it's a lot of rain. Got a couple of drips coming through. I think I haven't closed one of the top apexes properly. Um, but look at that there now. Oh, it's grey. Oh, it's nasty. For uh, day one, it's been a bit of a tricky start. I've had non-stop rain all day and um, also a lot of wind. I spent quite a few hours in a hide on Loch Nakeel and um, didn't get much otter luck but got some nice images of uh, common sandpiper. And I just had a feeling that it just wasn't going to get any better. The wind was really rushing through there. It wasn't comfortable. I have to camp there as well. I was thinking, sod it, I'll move on. And I've come to my favourite location for Hen Harrier and um, Short Eared Owl. And I've been now here in the hide for probably about probably a couple of hours now. And I've seen the male in and out a few times. So I've just set up down there and then the rain's come in. So um, this is the not so glamorous side of wildlife photography. Mm -hmm. 